Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another lesson video. Uh, Simon Power here. Um, today we're looking at No Surprises by Radiohead and we're going to be looking at a specific version of it. So we're going to be looking at the acoustic version, the live acoustic version that uh, Johnny and Tom did. It was part of the show they did, I think, in Paris. Really amazing, one of my favorite live Radiohead performances ever. If you go in onto your YouTubes and you check out uh, you check out that one live in the low reservoir, um, or you can just go right to the to the video. That song particularly is really cool because uh, Johnny sort of rearranges the the uh, the part so that he kind of puts the the lead guitar part kind of into the piano and he sort of rearranges the piano. So um, anyway, it's really cool. So it's, it's got all these uh, interesting parts in it and. Um, I think it'd be a really great sort of beginner to intermediate lesson. Okay, let's let, let let's dive into it. Okay, so this is our intro. Um, we're up here in a really high octave in the piano. This is a uh, this here is C six. So this is the sixth octave uh, on the piano. Um, so if you see here, so this is this is the fifth octave, sixth octave, seventh octave. The second seventh octave is the last octave. So we're up here. Okay, right. So uh, with this part, so we're starting up here. I've got my my right hand here up on the sixth octave. Um, and so this here is, uh, so I've got my my five on A6. Uh, and then my thumb is gonna be on C, uh, that's C6. And then my three is on F6. And I can just keep this position here. So I've just keep these fingers just sort of uh, glued in here. That will work really well. I also can use my left hand here to just sort of so I can main, maintain my position here. Uh, I've got my left hand here with my four on the B flat and my two on the D flat. So okay, the part goes A F. So I start. Oh yeah, it starts off kind of slow uh, with 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 um with not the proper figure yet, but just with kind of longer notes. A F A F. A, F, D flat, and then we kind of repeat that. We go A, F, A, F, A, F, and then C, D flat. So just add in the C the second time around. Okay. Then the figure starts off. So this is the really famous, no surprises kind of uh, um, riff you can call. It. Okay. So it goes. A C F C. So that's it really, but then just repeat it. So repeat it, repeat it again, but then last time we put in this. It's a B flat, and this is with the left hand, B flat, D flat, F, and then four on G. And that's it, it's that simple. So at that point we do that twice um, before the verse properly starts with the with the vocals. Okay, that's it for the intro. Okay, so the next part is the verse, um, and this is verse one. Uh, this part is gonna be the same for verse one and verse two. It's just repeated the exact same way in, in verse two. 
so, okay, so we get our figure again, again with our 1 on C6, uh, 3 on the F and 5 on the A. Just keep those, those fingers glued in there, in place. Um, and then, uh, okay, then we're going to go with the A, C, F, C four times. Okay, then we just change it a little bit by this C instead of, so it's, it, well, it's the same figure, but we just replace this C note with a B flat. So then I just go like this. Uh, so I go A, B flat, F, B flat. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Okay, then our chord shape kind of changes. Uh, so we get, we move up like one note, we move our hand kind of up one note. So we've got our five on the B flat, our two is on F, and then our uh, and then our one is on D. And then we get this B flat, D, F, D. Then we repeat that. And then we get a little change here, almost like a little melody. We get F, E, C, and then A down here. So that's A5. F, E, C, A. Okay, and then we kind of go back to the original figure um, from the intro. Uh, so, A, C, F, C, repeated, repeated, and then again with our B flat, D flat, F, G. Okay, that's, so that's the verse. Uh, verse 1 and verse 2 will be just, will be played just like that. Hey guys, okay, so the next part is gonna be the verse, which will lead into the chorus. Now for this, Johnny starts playing with two hands. So this this, this is cool, this is gonna take the, uh, so the, the original kind of riff, which is kind of something simple, you can teach that to a beginner, but now we're gonna sort of move into a bit more kind of intermediate kind of territory. So this is where we're playing with both hands at the same time. This would be a nice way to kind of develop your skills if you're just starting out. Um, okay. So we've got this in the right hand, this A, uh, so A, C, F, C figure. But we're now we're gonna do it in the left hand, in the fifth octave here. So our tongue is on A5, two is on F, uh, F5, and our, our five is on C5. So, okay, if we do the same figure, but with both hands, it will look like this. A, C, F, C, repeated, repeated, repeated. And then, right, we want the same sort of figure, but our, our five is gonna stretch down to the B flat, one stretches to the, to, to the B flat as well, and then we just do the same sort of figure, A, B flat, F, B flat, repeated, repeated, then something, then things change here. The pattern kind of changes here. We're gonna go up for a B flat up here. Both hands on B flat, right? So on the right hand, that's B flat six. Left hand, B flat five. And we do a long B flat with our trees, both trees, okay? You're actually gonna be here in this G position with your one on G. So we do a B flat, a long B flat, then a long C. Okay, then we're at the chorus. We're gonna do this chorus kind of uh, melody, which goes like this. In both hands, D, C, C, B flat, B flat, A, A, G, like that. Very good. Make sure to keep your hands in position here and use proper fingering. A, B flat, C, D, C, C, B flat, B flat, A, A, G. So we're just getting a repeat here. 
Then A, B flat, C. Finally, we get B, C, C, B flat, B flat, A, A, G, G, F, E, C, F, G. Okay, so, right, that's the chorus. And I kind of think, yeah, so the other times the chorus comes in, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> so I think there's three choruses in this song, and he plays them all the same way. More or less. Um, so that part will work for all of the choruses. Okay.